Okay, boys, that's right. We're back with another Pro Class video and potentially another lengthy video. Now, I did get a comment on my last one, which was the six foot two, uh, which was just here. Six foot two, 198 pounds, and it has worked very, very well on all accounts that I've used it on. It's worked very, very well. Um, six foot two, if you didn't watch that video, it's on the top right, link to the video. If not, go onto my channel, and it is called Lengthy Pro Clubs. Quotation marks glitch, where we use defending um, and our physical to make ourselves lengthy uh, without putting anything into agility. Now, the biggest criticism that we got was that having lower agility and having a taller person makes you feel really sluggish. And this is where... Now, I'm fairly sure his name was different when I read the comment originally, but his name's Paul Pogba now, so... The real Paul Pogba, that's right, the real Paul Pogba, I'll part up on the screen now, said he tried running the shortest length he possible using the strength archetype, which I'll show you in a sec, um, with default agility, 76 agility and 90 strength at 5 foot 10 and it works well. Still lengthy, but not clunky and very good dribbling works for me. So I did try this and let me tell you, it works. Let me tell you, it works. Maybe if you want to be a goal scoring machine, um, you haven't got the aerial threat. As six foot two, even though there's what like a five inch, almost six inch difference, you know, it's not that. It is, it's, it is, a, it is a big difference, but it's you know, yeah. Anyway, let me not make that joke. Um, I've tried to, I've tried it, and it works. 198 pounds, five foot ten. You get yourself a little bit more uh, dribbling, um, just naturally, than if you went yourself uh, six foot two. And you just feel a lot quicker. You still win those headers. Um, unfortunately, you're not like scoring that many goals with headers as much. But I still would say perks, put on steel dribbler, put on active first touch. I will revise what I said in the last episode though. If you do get a chance to put either or on, I would put a steel dribbler on. It just feels a little bit better when you're when you're playing. But having five foot at uh, five foot ten instead of six foot two, you can see that our um, strength is 79 and our dribbling is 69 now this will go up depending on what level you are i'm level 48 almost level 50 so i have got 95 skill points if you're higher or lower then just do what if you're if a lower level then just do what i do but in order of how i do it basically and if you're a higher level then just do all of this and then put your points excess points into what i tell you at the end but the main thing you want to do is go into this physical tree because at the moment we've got 70 you've only got 79 physical and what we'll do is we'll put these two strength points on here and here to make ourselves 85, uh, 82. Then put this strength on to make us 85. And then put on the ball archetype to make us 90 strength. Now you'll see if we go into dribbling, we've got 90 strength and 69 agility. That means we're over. But if we wanted to, we can actually put three points into agility here. Although it is a little bit expensive. Well, 8, 9, 10, 11 points maybe. It's a little bit expensive. We can go up to 76 agility as a base. Um, or... Let me see if this works. Can we go down here? No, we can't. Okay, no worries. Um, you can put three points into agility here to make a 76, which is exactly 14 away. So we boost ourselves up agility-wise to 76 from, if I go over to my other one, from 76 agility uh, from this one, which is 69 agility. So you've gained 70 agility plus all of the excess dribbling stats as well, which you can have a look into yourself. Put them side by side, you can see. But from here, putting those points in, you don't even have to put them in. But if you wanted to get yourself some agility, you can. First thing I would always recommend is, because this is still for a forward, is put yourself into some uh, pace. I don't really put these two sprint speeds in, to be honest with you, because it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But I do put myself acceleration in all the way up to the top. Shooting, you got to get yourself four-star weak foot. So put yourself in some free finishing here. Put yourself weak foot there. And then also shot power and weak foot there. First things first, put yourself some pace. Then shooting. Then after that, if you want to, then you can go into dribbling a little bit more. Put yourself into just pure dribbling. Or you can take that off and put yourself up to Lynx archetype, which gives you crazy balance, crazy ball control. And then you still have points over depending on what you're using. If you wanted to go into a more dribbling type you can but if you wanted to add free dribbling on uh, free agility instead of dribbling you can you can put it up to 76 so this is where this comes in very very useful if you wanted to be a little bit more agile a little bit more nimble on it and still get lengthy archetype then going five foot ten putting yourself in the ball archetype is very very useful 
especially being at five foot ten and not being the tallest person in the world and having a crazy amount of strength, you can really shrug off defenders, which is 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 very very handy in this game. So that strength really does matter, especially when you're playing at that smaller size at five foot ten. Five foot ten kind of feels like a perfect size to me in pro clubs. Especially like compared to six foot two, you've got eighty four strength, so you've actually got more strength on this set. Obviously, it makes sense, but only by four. You're only losing two strength by going five ten, um, compared to six foot. You are obviously losing agility and you're losing uh, dribbling. You are obviously gaining pace and and stuff like that, especially at that five foot ten. So. Thank you very much, Paul Pogba. That's right, the real Paul Pogba for actually getting me on this set. This is what I have been using recently, and I will be using more on all of my accounts. Um, I'm still going to stick by it. Passing, you don't need to put that much passing into it. Genuinely, you do not need to put passing into it. Um, if you want to put yourself some balance up so you're basically un unpushable, you cannot be pushed off the ball to go into Link's archetype. Other than that, I would recommend going to try and get as much dribbling as possible here, especially with that agility. It really helps out. You can even take off your two sprint speed here. 76 sprint speed is not bad. I'm telling you now, with the length of the archetype, it is not bad. Acceleration is what you need. Acceleration is where it's at, which means you can then go into dribbling and you can actually put more points into dribbling instead, which probably helps you out a lot more realistically. Attacking position doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. It doesn't really matter, but when you when it's paired with ball control, you kind of have to take it. That's why they've done it, instead of putting it as their own individual set. But the balance is very, very useful. I would definitely recommend grabbing yourself some balance, getting yourself some strength. That 90 balance that I have on that set um, and the 90 strength, you can't be pushed off the ball. It, well, you can, but it's very hard to get pushed off the ball. Um, you're, you're kind of stuck to it. Only downside to this is it does require more skill points to get a lengthy type, but it is better in my opinion. It is just a better lengthy build. Hopefully I haven't thrown too much information on you, but you still get three archetypes, same as if you do the striker or depending on what you do in the striker through here. Um, you do get, like I said, better shooting or better pace depending on what you're after compared. But I would recommend if you're looking for a lengthy build like I put in the last video, this is probably the better one. Yes. Hopefully. Maybe. Yes. It is. Definitely. It is 100%. <laughs> uh, let me know how you what you prefer. If you're playing on the wings, I would definitely recommend this. You get a little bit more agile. If you're playing up top, maybe go with six foot two for that um, corners aerial threat stuff if you play like that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Like if you like, dislike if you disliked. All my socials and links to which are in the description below. Casey Boyd, one for everything as always. But yeah, till next time. Peace.